Okay, so this is all the ingredients or um, materials and tools that you will need. As you will see, we are doing this out in the garden because it gets very messy. Um, so make sure you're doing it in the garden. Make sure that you've got some old clothes on or clothes, it doesn't matter, getting painty just in case. And make sure that an adult is supervising um, with you. Okay, go on, you come and say. Make sure you have high fences because the pots go, re and go really high, okay? So make sure you have high fences. Yeah, right, high fences, everybody. So the things that you need are, you need a canvas or some paper or whatever it is that you're actually going to do the painting on. Obviously, if you're outside on a breezy day and you've got paper, you perhaps need to put some stones down to hold your um, paper down. You won't if you've got a canvas. You will need some water. We've just got a jug. You won't need that much water. Um, you will need a stick or something to stir. We've just got a paintbrush. You will need, and this is the important bit for, um, for it to explode, for it to work. You will need something that dissolves some effervescent tablets like aspirin. We've got some Alka-Seltzer. We find that the Alka-Seltzer work best. Obviously, because these are um, aspirin, you must have adult supervision um, to do this because this is um, medicine. You will need some containers that have pop lids. So either an old film canister, something that literally just pops off. So we've got an old film canister and we've got an, um, a peanut pot. Um, that had peanuts in you need something like those the bigger the container the bigger the gap or the hole in your paint explosion will be which you will see when we do it and then you need some paints um, you will need to have some fluid paints some like liquid paint so like poster paint something like that must be or acrylic paint um, must be liquid paint so what you need to do and we're going to just talk you through this rather than um, do it on camera because it, you need to do it quite quickly because it can actually work quite quick. So you choose your paint colour and you put a little bit of paint in the bottom of um, your canister. Then you add some water to it to make it liquidy and that's what you need your stirring stick for. You need to just stir, stir it up to make it liquidy. Then you need to take one of your Alka-Seltzer tablets. Now for a pot this sort of size you will need about a quarter of a tablet. For a pot this size you'll need about a whole tablet and just just break it up in your hands pop it into the tub with the liquid press the lid on and then turn it upside down on your canvas and step back and wait for the magic to happen that's as simple as that and then when you've done that just take it off repeat the process you can wash this out if you want a different color paint in there and then repeat it again and again and again all over your um, canvas or paper. So there we go. Now we're going to put that into practice, aren't we? Yes. That's enough. That's it. Put a little bit of water in to make it liquidy. Nuffa, nuffa. Give it a stir. Make sure it's all mixed up. That's it. I've done. Awesome. Okay, and then you get ready with your lid. Can you pop it? I put and put. You put lid on, okay? okay. I'm trying to get one out. Okay, crush it up in your hand then. <clears throat> Where are you going to want it? Put on the on there. Okay, on the edge. You just crush it right, with, your, with your thumb. What was that? Um, a bird scarer. Okay, you can pop it in. Heather. Yeah, go on, put it in. Quicker, quicker. Quicker because it's starting to dissolve. Explode, explode, explode. Mm. Just have to wait, don't you? We weren't patient enough last time, were we? Woo! Wow! <laughs> that is so awesome, isn't it? The 
look at the pot. <laughs> oh, you didn't get a hole in the middle this time. Wow. Can we do a new thing? Look, it's running because it's on a slightly slant that it's running into it. Stand back. Okay, so when I said earlier about the hole that you'll get in your explosion, this is what I meant. This is this has actually done a really good example of the hole I mentioned. The others haven't, they've kind of the paint's been a bit um more runnier this time, so they've kind of closed the hole. But yeah, this is what I was going on about. So the hole is created where you've put your your pot upside down. It's exploded up and it's left the lid there and the canister itself is exploded up. So that's what I was saying. Like the bigger the, the bigger the canister, the bigger the hole in the middle that you'll get. So that's a pretty good example. This one has got a really interesting texture because the gold paint that we used was really globby. Um, um, so that's kind of come uh, with like a really nice texture. And there you have it. That's our exploding paint. If you um, like the look of this, do give it a go. But also, please do check out my daughter's Etsy shop. The link for that will be in the comments below. She sells um, the canvases that she creates. She sells reproduction prints of the canvases. And she also sells stickers and something all based on um, the artwork that she creates. So if you like it, please, please do check it out. Please give the video a thumbs up so she can see you like it. And um, share it with your friends too. And I hope you have lots of fun doing some explosive drippy splatty art bye guys